What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a David Robinson Amethyst gameplay. So this David Robinson card is probably, well, stats-wise, maybe the best center in the game. Actually, is he even better? Is he better than Hakeem? Hakeem, 87, 89. We're both the exact same offense and defense overalls. And I'm going to use Hakeem in this squad as well because I'm probably not going to do a specific Hakeem. Actually, no, I will probably do a specific Hakeem gameplay later today. So I'm not going to put Hakeem in the squad. So uh, David Robinson, he's 7 foot 1. He's got 10 gold badges, brick wall, bruiser, pick and popper, chasing out his lap city finisher, posterizer, rim protector, pick and roller, hustle rebounder, and defense stopper, as well as some good personality badges. David Robinson has got a 94 post fadeaway, 84 post hook, 84 shot made, 60 shot 3. He's got driving dunk of 75, standing dunk of 90, with a driving dunk and standing dunk tendency, both of 90. He's got um, Conley dunk 75. He's got a really good shot block of 90. He's got 92 shot contest. He's got really good uh, box out, decent rebounding stats, decent speed of 70 for a center. He's also got okay lower quickness for a 7 foot 1 player, 65. Good on ball defense, like you again for a big man, 78. Low post defense, like you of 88, really good. Good defense consistency, good offensive consistency. And yeah, should be quite a good card. So the team we're running with is Pete Marvins the 1, Clay the 2, Rudy Gay the 3, Jerry Lucas the 4, and at the 5 we've got David Robinson. The bench you got Kobe at the 1, Mo Pearson at the 2, Larry at the 3, Chris up the 4, and Grant Hill, or and Kanzi now at the 5, Grant Hill, Channing Fry, and Derek Coleman ran off the bench. Replace Derek Coleman with... Uh... I'll put in... Just for shooting purposes, I'll put in Jason Richardson instead, because Channing Fry and Coleman are very, very similar players. But um, yeah, this is a really, really nice squad. Rudy Gay is a beast in game. Clay Thompson, of all current players, Clay and Chris Stapps are the two best I've used, including Amethyst. Like, both of them are better than the Amethyst KD, in my opinion. Then it's Amethyst KD, and the rest of them I don't think there's any point using any other current players. Actually, Cat's really good as well. But um, yeah, so this is the squad we are using. Now let's get on to the hot zones for David Robinson. Then we're going to get on to the game. And actually, I'll go over the hot zones for Rudy Gay as well, because I haven't used him in the gameplay yet on this channel either. Let's quickly go over the hot zones for Rudy Gay. Everywhere inside the three-point line. As always, Rudy Gay's release is absolutely money in this game. Um, he can shoot well from three. He's got a really nice mid-range shot. He's in the same post fadeaway. Offensively, there's nothing this card can't do. Not a bad defender. Insane dunker as well. Really good dunk animations and high ratings. So this may be, like, this is one of the best amateurs. Could be the best amateurs we've seen so far this year in my team. This Rudy Gay card is just absolutely insane. So anyway, let's go on to David Robinson. So David Robinson has hot zones, most spots inside the three. As always, for a big man, his release is money. When they eventually give out a David Robinson with a three ball, he is going to be incredible. Like, this release is so cash. Like, he can actually hit corner threes. Like, if you leave him open, he will be able to hit corner threes with that release and that rating. I'm surprised I actually haven't greened any of these, but um, mid-range game is really, really nice. Fadeaway, for some reason, I'm struggling really hard to actually trigger fadeaway animations without doing something like that, without my player almost falling into the three, uh, out of the three-point line. Because if they're near the basket, they do that animation now. So now fadeaways are really far from the basket, so it's going to be actually quite tough to hit, hit some of them. But um, he's going to be a really nice mid-range shooter. He's going to be a really good defender. Should run the floor quite well. Be good for standing dunks, good driving dunk. And this end could be one of the best centers in the game. So now let's just green one shot. Let's go corner and see if we can green a three. Let's go. At least he's hitting them. He's hitting them anyway. Okay, maybe not green the three. Let's green a midi. Oh, come on. Surely at least one of these has to be a green. Like, Oh, my God. I've never filled a bar that much on a high-rated shooter without being green. Like, what? This is mad, like. Like, that's full. That is full. Like, the top of it is literally touching the top. How is that not green? How have none of these been green? Is this release impossible to green or something? There we go. Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against not a great team. He is a Chris Tapps, who's a really good player. So we should be okay in this game. Okay, Javel is a really good defense center, so this will be a tough matchup for him. Fade away, good defense by Chris Stapps there. The post game is definitely better this year, but it is not anywhere near as overpowered as some people made it out to be. They just hit three on us with Sapphire Yanis. Really? Okay, 75 rating, but not a bad release. It wasn't too bad. Hopefully, in time, this one a little bit better. Nope, but he hits both of them anyway. Steal by Maravich. I mean, hit him. Good finish, David Robinson. 
four Addy points. Okay, that Giannis is doing work on me. That uh, Sapphire Giannis. He's never Greg Monroe in a center. Bit of a weird one. Fadeaway jumper. And he knocks it down. That was a nice shot there by David Robinson. Of all the shots to hit, the fadeaway's to hit. He always hits that one. I'm jumping. Pull from mid. David Robinson, that's a bad miss. That's a really bad miss. I can't green his release. Like, I can... I struggle to mistime it. Like, I time it really well, but I cannot green that release. The defense, Jerry Lucas. Let's go, David Robinson. Let's push it. Okay, again. He's on DeAngelo Russell now. Easy, easy. It's got to be good. There we go. Throw it up. Good dunk, David Robinson. He's now hot. Pete Maravich. Wow, only one assist. David Robinson, 10.3 boards in the first quarter. And, oh, a big block there on DeAngelo Russell. Does anyone know what the different heat check things do? Obviously, there's the shooter. There's the slasher. I know, obviously, the one with the bullseye is the shooter. The one that Ben Simmons has is the slasher. I don't know what this, like, letterbox logo or thing is. Uh, the David Robinson has right now. Good finish. I can make him finish better around the basket, I guess. Rebound better, I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. Like, that would be what, what makes the most sense, anyway. The basket, Kobe Bryant jumps on. Let's go. Who's that Bobby Ford is playing center? That's a bad, that was a mad dunk by Kobe. Steal. Okay. Larry's got the heat check. Pull up. Green light. Let's go. All right, this is Larry Bird takeover time for the next 32 or so seconds. Steal. Grant Hill. To the basket. He's just too quick. Easy dunk. Okay, it's Bialica guarding David Robinson. Let's just murder him. Spin him. Get him to fade. He's got a 94 fade. That's a full white bar and it's open. Post fadeaways. Oh, man. They're just... The post game was a myth. The post game was a myth. It was good for like... It was better than, seven, than 18, so everyone thought it was this great thing. The post game is a myth. I went a one point game. Weird looking hook, but it went in. I'll take it. Swatted by Bialica. Gets his own board and gets the rebound. Safe to say my post game is awful. <laughs> I don't really have many post moves in this game. Because I don't really like to use the post too much, but I see for David Robinson, he's not much of a shooter. If I want to get clips with him, gotta use him in the post. But um fair play to this guy. He's stuck in really well, especially with the team he's running. Oh, to the basket, Grant Hill. Easy dunk. Let's go. He he may be the best of all these cards in this collection. He may actually be the best. Grant Hill follow, but Grant Hill and Kobe are the two best I've used. David Robinson's a beast, but I don't really like out and out centers. But Grant Hill and Kobe are definitely the best of the cards that I've used anyway. Got him on Wiggins. Got him on Wiggins. This match we want. I'm jumping. All of them jumping. And he puts it in. Let's go. Throws it up to David Robinson, who gets the dunk. Great pass by Pete Maravich. Pete Maravich as a passer is sick. Not the best score. And his shot release is long and not great. But as a passer, there's no one better in this game. I'll throw it up. Okay, good pass by uh, Maravich there. He, Dave Robinson gets his own rebound and jams it on Porzingis. Let's go. He is, like his standing dunk is really OP. He is inside games OP. If you're good with post players, this card's going to be OP. Obviously, I'm not. And the fact is, I'm still able to do well with him. Just sums up how good this card actually is. The Rudy guy on the break, jamming on him. Or just easy layup. That's fine as well. David Robinson with the dunk. Pete Maravich as a passer. Unbelievable. David Robinson catching lobs. Unbelievable. That duo is very, very good playing together. Fakes him up. David Robinson puts it in easily. He's got 29 now. He's going to push for 30 in this game. Maravich to steal. I got to give Maravich a jumper. Green light. He's made enough assists. I got to give him a shot. <laughs> Gatorade symbol is so, such a big factor in this game. Like, if you've got Gatorade symbol, you're not hitting a shot. You're dribble, you're turning the ball over almost every time you dribble it. Like, you just become, like, 15 ratings lower when you get tired in this game. Good job, John the foul. Let's go. 
probably not going to eat her these free throws, to be honest. Nope, doesn't hit the first. We're nearly a full bar. And he, but he does hit the second. For 30 points to David Robinson, not bad showing at all. Especially because I'm not good with post players. So David Robinson in the end had 30 points, tw uh, 13 of 23 from the field. Well, he was 8 of 14 in the second half. Well, a little bit over 50%. Um, he had 6 rebounds as well, 2 steals, 1 block, uh, no turnovers, and was plus 9 on the floor. Larry Bird, 7 points, Grant Hill, 8 points, Grant Hill, 4 of 5, 8 points in 3 minutes. As just a guy you can just throw on and just go at teams for like 2 minutes, Grant Hill is unbelievable at that, as like a plan, as like a la plan B. If things aren't going well, just go at teams with Grant Hill. Chris Apps with seven, Kobe with four, Pete Maravich with three, and Pete Maravich with five assists as well, and four steals. Rudy Gay with two, Jerry Lucas with two, um, Caroline T. Downs with two, Mo Peterson with two, Clay Thompson didn't score, and Jay Rich and Channing Fry didn't play. So yeah, David Robinson is probably the best center in NBA 2K19, my team. Maybe it'll be Hakeem, I don't know, I haven't used Hakeem yet, and um, I will be doing, using Hakeem for a gameplay probably straight after this. So, um, as of right now, David Robinson is the best center I have used, and it's realistically, it is between him and Akeem. Bryant Reeves is really good as a rebounder. Big Country is great as a rebounder. Really solid. Um, and apart from that, I don't really like any actual centers. Boogie's really good. Actually, no. Boogie's really good. Cat's really good. But um, David Robinson, as like a pure post player, is the best I've used so far. Maybe Hakeem will be better, but... We've yet to see. That will be the next video. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.